We looked at the relationships between fruit intake and vegetable intake and how they were correlated with psychological distress. It's sort of an umbrella term for um, symptoms of depression, anxiety and stress. I combined three different uh, national health surveys um, to have a total of just over 45,000 people. People who only eat one or fewer servings um, of vegetables, so it's half a cup or less, uh, have 1.6 times the odds of psychological distress than those who are having five or more serves per day, which is the recommended amount. When we look at the difference between males and females, there does seem to be a greater effect for, for women. Men have a benefit of vegetables, which increases per serve up until about three to four serves. and then having more serves than that doesn't seem to improve it anymore. Whereas for women, the more vegetables they eat, the better, um, but we've only measured up until five or more. In fruit, again, women benefited more from fruit, um, but only about two servings a day after that, it didn't seem to have huge benefits. This is an Australian survey, and it is a large sample of people, and it was an unexpected finding, um, but very exciting. Correlation is never causation, and we have to be careful about that but I think intuitively most people know that they should be eating more vegetables. But rarely do we really think deeply about how it affects your psychological health. And I think that's the beauty of the study. It's really important to embed it down into evidence. We did a second study um, looking at the impacts of uh, people's diet on depression and anxiety in a sample of healthy adults. Well, we found an interesting pattern where if they had quite a lot of soft drink, it increased their risk of depression. So having seven or more cups of soft drinks per week uh, increased the odds of depression by almost five times, 4.8. However, fibre diet, people who had a lot more fibre in their diet, that was related to a slightly lower anxiety. It can show patterns that we would then look for in a larger sample. Obviously, we've got to move forward in the middle way where we marry basic research with clinical research and findings and then public health messaging and then it all goes around in a circle, which is our role here at the Translational Research Institute to help the public and improve health and well-being, which is our role.